New Kid. I was eight, coming up on nine. Beyond the friendly push and shove, locking arms and legs and wrestling friends down to the ground, I'd not yet had encounters with bullies or those engaged in defense of turf, asserting dominance to new outsiders. But now we had moved north to New England, that suburban life west of Philly had not prepared me for the tough kids of the working class neighborhood that bordered on the vacant lot where kids from all around gravitated to play ball. My younger brother had preceded me that day, but now he ran to me as I arrived, tears in his eyes, his sneakers, his sneakers no longer on his feet, but in another's hands. The older of two look-alikes, two laughing brothers toying with a young new arrival, cats playing with a helpless mouse. So long ago, what words led up to the debacle that was to be my first fight? I can't remember just how I felt. Aware, a forced awareness, a new landscape in which I was unbalanced, unsure of my footing. Here, I confronted boys my age perhaps, but wiser in the ways of fists and beatings, predatory strength, punishment visited on those weaker than themselves, their younger, smaller prey. Hindsight, insight gained from all these years, now I understand these brothers did to others what had been done to them, giving what was got. I knew that I must right the wrong, and so demanded back my brother's sneakers. Instead, I was soon gifted blow after blow that landed on my poorly guarded face. Pain that I felt early on soon dulled, my head soon deadened by the continual pounding. My own wild, uncoordinated swings went wide and left me open to more punishment until, by chance, a lucky punch landed rocked my suddenly startled foe who stepped back to collect himself, at which point, mercifully, someone said it was enough and both of us agreed. I retrieved the sneakers, now an afterthought, having served their purpose. Badly beaten but unbowed, unbeaten, I never cried, not then nor later, having survived what I would in later years know was but a childhood rite of passage, initiation to the neighborhood. I had run the gauntlet. Looking back now, having crested the wave of life, surfing down the slope of the wave, riding, coasting home with the full benefit of new knowledge gained from reflections back to early days, I realized that, for, that fight was the first and last up there in New Hampshire. I wonder now why that was so. I remember coming home, a battered face I could not hide, a mother angry, upset, protective, some questions and frank answers. I do not know now what she did or did not do, more likely what she did. She was not one to sit by and do nothing. What I do know is that there were no further confrontations. I never sought them out, and none were ever from that time on visited upon me or my younger brother. Not until we moved again, this time to a city in western New York. Still, I was unproved, though surely blooded, never needed and so never schooled in the arts of fighting. Older now, a teenager, still naive, before to working class mores, now to urban ways. What this all translates to is being wrong place, wrong time, alone, and a target. And then, once again, another time. I was the new kid, unknown, a target, not a fight either time, but definitely a beating. Still today, I have never mastered martial arts, but I have learned how to project more than I am, instilling doubt in those who seek to pray. Thank you very much.